Hi, I'm Vicky. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the feather mohawk to go with Jazida's outfit. To make the base for this headpiece, to make it without being attached to a headband, I'm going to use craft bone, which is really light because I want to keep this as light as possible. I'm then going to attach three metal combs down the length of this piece. So this piece is about 10 inches long and three inches wide. I'm going to put them underneath so it can be pushed in to the hair with those. I'm then going to cut two more layers and in between the layers I'm going to put wire so it can be bent to shape and then I'm also going to put a series of elastic loops around the edges so that bobby pins can be pushed through to make it even more secure. First thing I'm doing is just using my hot glue gun to attach the combs to the back of the first piece of foam. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of wire to hold them in place a little more securely and then put a piece of ribbon across to hide the gluey parts. To wire the combs on I'm literally just pushing the wire through the craft foam and I've left a long end and then when I finish I'm just twisting the ends together. If this was just going to be a single layer of foam I'd be worried about the wire pulling through and ripping out of the foam but because we're going to have so many layers and so much glue in between I don't think it would be a problem. Plus we're also going to have the loops and bobby pins at the sides to help support it so the combs won't be taking the whole weight. Next I'm going to glue some ribbon across them and then around and onto the other side of the foam just to help secure them even further. Next I'm going to create a series of loops all the way around the edge using this really thin black elastic. I think I'm going to glue, glue it in a zigzag across which will use lots of elastic but it means it won't be able to pull out completely like it would if they were cut. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way along and then I'm going to do a couple of loops at each end as well. So here's how my base is looking at the minute. I've zigzagged the elastic all the way across it and at both ends. So there's absolutely loads of loops that can be used to bobby pin to help really secure it down as well as the combs. So I've done them front and back as well as down the sides. So next I'm now going to glue even more stuff on. So I've got this black wire which is quite flexible and I'm going to glue a few strips of that along lengthways. I've got some pegs that can help hold it in place because the wire's bending away and I'm burning my fingers trying to hold it in the glue. I'll let that dry and then do another three or four rows. So this is how it's looking now with the wire glued on as well. It looks a complete mess but we're about to add more layers over the top so this is all going to be hidden. So now the wire's on, I can start bending it into the shape we need to sit on the head. I'm just going to go try it and make sure it works before I go any further. That worked, I can get it on. You have to sort of slide the whole thing backwards and it's fairly secure but I think once the bobby pins are through these loops as well it's going to be really secure. So I'm still going to aim to keep it as light as possible because I think that's going to be the key to making it work. So next I'm going to cover up all of this ugliness by gluing on another layer of foam. I'm going to glue it on and then I will cut it to shape without cutting any of my little loops. Okay, so we have a base. So that's how it looks at the top. So you can see the little loops out the sides. So you can bobby pin and that's how it looks on the bottom. So it's a little bit ugly at the sides, but that's all going to be hidden by the feathers and net and crystals that we're going to put on next. So for the next part, I'm actually going to pin it onto one of my polystyrene heads and work on it on there because I need the curve to know where all the feathers are going to go. Next, I've cut two pieces of black hat net which are the length of the headpiece base and I've glued on some crystals to both of them using E6000 Fabrifuse. So because Jazida's got dark hair, this is just going to give the effect that the crystals are floating in her hair and I'm going to glue these on because we want them coming off the sides. I'm going to glue these on like this on each side of the base. 
um, I've left them square at the ends because I'm not sure exactly how big they need to be so we can actually trim these when Jazida tries it on and then she can pin it into her hair where she wants it to sit. So I'm just going to use my glue gun to attach these to both sides. Next I've cut two pairs of craft bone, so they're mirrored pairs, following the curve of the headpiece and along the bottom of each one I've cut tabs and this is how we're going to attach these to the headpiece and then this is how we're going to attach the feathers as well. It's easier to work on this on a polystyrene head now if you've got one. So next I'm going to take the first pair of these and I'm going to fold the tabs outwards and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue them onto the base and I'm going to do them like that but I'm not going to glue them together because that's how we're going to glue the feathers in between. There's one on, I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Now I've got those two ridges of craft foam glued on, I can glue my feathers in between and I'm using these big purple ostrich plumes that were Jazida's. I think she must have had them on a fan. So I'm going to have to just cut them down a little bit to get rid of the Velcro because that's quite bulky. And then I'm going to glue them gradually sort of getting backwards to give us that big feather mohawk just in between those two layers of foam. My front one's glued in. Next I'm going to do my back one and then I can work out the pattern in between to get the nice spread of feathers that I want. Cool, so this is how we are looking with all 10 of those ostrich feathers in. Next, I'm just gluing on this ostrich feather trim around the bottom just to help hide that join. And because the purple of this is more the color of the purple on the bodysuit and on the jacket, it's just gonna help sort of tie everything together. I'm gonna use it all the way around, including around the front just to help hide hide all this sort of messy bit and then once this is on I'm going to cover this ribbon and these parts in these same champagne AB crystals and I'm also going to put some of those just up the front feather as well up the spine a bit. So here is our finished headpiece with all the crystals on now as well. It's really really light using that craft foam is definitely the right decision. So here's the front and that's how it looks from the side and from the back. And then each side we've got this black net with the gorgeous AB champagne crystals on, which they're just gonna look like they're floating on Jazida's hair when she's wearing it, because the black net's gonna disappear against her dark hair. I've just tried it on and the three combs underneath hold it quite well. So once she's got it on with the combs and the bobby pins through those little elastic loops, it's gonna be really, really easy to wear, hopefully and managed to do this without the need for a headband to ruin the lines at the side. So I'm so happy with how this has come out. And I think this is a method I'll now be able to use um, as a base to create other things from. Mm -hmm.